All right, it has come down to this. The final part of Amnesia, the bug. I just heard that every playthrough of this game is randomized, like the codes for the lockers. You can't just look at a guide. You essentially have to do everything fresh. So kind of happy that I was able to finish this. I didn't have to use a guide or anything. I had some like pointers from the developers, but nothing crazy. And uh, kind of helped me along the way. But anyways, love you all. If you enjoyed this series and are excited for more horror games, in the near future, I kind of had a few week period when I was playing this and just like random indie horror games. It kind of felt like old times for a minute. So anyways, love you all. Thanks for the like support. Hope you enjoy the finale. All right, let's get it. All right. Uh, I'm not really sure where we're going, but I might just try to go somewhere I haven't been yet. So everything is left. Obviously, we're not exiting. Okay, so we've been to the arsenal, officers' quarters, maintenance, soldier quarters. I don't. I guess it's just down here as well. Infirmary, <sighs> officer quarters, maintenance. So it wouldn't be anything over here, I'd imagine. Hold on. What else is over here? This is just the soldier quarters, right? Oh wait. Been there. The prison was, yeah. I don't think we're going back to the prison. I think the prison's a pretty complete area. Communications, soldier. I, let's try here. I don't know. There was something down here I think I could use the wrench on, but I can't remember. It's like there's one area where I ran to and I'd always hide next to it. What is that? Oh, there's the map. Man. That ain't good. We got a picture. Not sure where I'm going just yet. I'm trying to just see if there's like ways around stuff. What I'm wondering is how do we get into these rooms that are closed off, you know? Now, I could go turn the generator on and just practice a run down through here. But I don't even know if I need to get... I really want to get this map. Huh, let's see what we got. Can't really see it too well. Time to go. You know when you think about it, this game isn't really that major of a... I guess like map size wise, it doesn't seem as... sure if it like does anything when you do that all right so nothing has really happened so let me see how much extra fuel I got. I got one more yeah I really just want to save some of that just in case I really need it um, let's keep going back over there though I don't think anything's happened where I really need to save it so I here's what I could do I could turn the lights on and just kind of run down there that way everything's on but I don't know if I need to just yet I kind of want to just see what's down here first I'm just gonna like walk down here casually we got that door that's blocked running into all kinds of stuff 
communications. Have we been in here? I don't know if we've been in here. Okay, this is marked something on the map. We need a key. There's rats. Oh no. We got security. That's also locked. Okay. Which looks like we need a key. Wait, there's a key in there. Maybe there's a key in here to go over there. Wait. We got a picture. Let me check out some of the notes and stuff really quick. Any more codes? I think we've already... Have we got that one before? I don't know. I think if it would be crossed out if we've actually used it. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter. I think we died a few times. Nothing else in here. I swear I heard, like, footsteps just now. I knew I heard something. We're gonna wait right here. I swear I still like hear something. It's not the monster, but it's like footsteps almost. Um All right. You know, although this game can be a little bit stressful, it's actually been a lot of fun to play. Like I look forward to playing it. All right, so we got this door Man, I just want to, like, throw a grenade and just break the door. <laughs> Wait, can I? Hold on, what do I have in my inventory? Empty bottle, cloth. I have a gas grenade. That's not going to do anything. Hold on, what's that goes in the wall right there? Where does it come out? Oh, we got this. It's our lucky day. Looks like a note. this say um hold on date so it's just some other stuff what about photos any of them have anything on the back I wonder it's like crazy hearing stuff I don't feel like this helped us at all I guess we eliminated one of the things we needed to actually collect. Got this barrel. Oh, wait. Can I? I was going to say, could I move this barrel?
See if I like, move it next to this door, but you get the thing on the ground right there, which is gonna stop it from sliding. Um, I feel like our key to getting anything is to get to that. I'm looking around to see if there's like another hole in the wall anywhere. I feel like since all the other doors... What is that? Communications key. Um, hold on. It's just sitting there on the bed. That's crazy. It was just right there. Like what in the world? safe up here I don't think we are we'll hide for just a second Come on over here. That's a big lock. Get ready. We got a moment. What does that sign say? What did that <laughs> sign? What do the notes say? Uh, nothing. What does this one say? Ah, I'm assuming. We gotta run back to the generator, turn it on. If we can make it back. Let me see what we got. Um, oh, I should, hold on, let me heal up. I just realized I took damage at some point. They didn't even realize it. And I just noticed the screen was a little bit red. All right, I think we're good. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back. I think we just go straight, don't we? Can't remember. I'm terrible at navigating. Like, I used to hate... Yeah, I think we go left right here. I used to hate when I was younger driving. It was like before, like, phones had maps and everything. <laughs> and I was uh, having to print stuff out and then follow the roads was just... It was like a nightmare. I couldn't do it. Mission storage. Oh, we're right back here. Let me run back. This will be a nice little save. We've actually got a few things done. Keep that on. Okay, um... We're good on fuel, but I will put more of that in. I could drop some of this up. This is, like... You can use this to kind of time how much gas you got left in the generator, but I'm not really worried about that. I have a lot more hills than I expected. I might take, uh... I may take the bottle out and just drop this one. I wonder if it just stays there, you know? That would be funny if it did. All right, so we're going to use another empty bottle. Let me take that out as well and drop it. I just don't feel like these are that useful. Because you can, you know, you can do this, but how often do I get rags, you know? I wish it had like an auto sort because it would be nice to just have them all 
like go where they are like matched up or whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being picky. Okay. Empty bottle with cloth. Can't do much there. Gas grenade. I mean, do I really need this? Don't feel like I do. Um. One thing of bait. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to run down here. I'm going to crank this up. I'm not going to use the stopwatch. I'm just going to be like... Maybe I should. I've had it on me forever. Or I have it back in the thing. Hold on. We can at least time it. But I won't have enough space if I do that. Let me put that up as well. There we go. One hill for good measures. Okay. It's filled up. So how do you do this? I don't know if I did that right. I don't think I did. The good thing is the game doesn't have an auto-save feature. I'm keeping light on just in case. It doesn't have an auto-save feature, so like... If I run down here and die a few times, it won't really matter. Wait, I hear like... Oh, it's all attached. Hold on. This is another thing. Oh, uh, I gotta get that one. But how do I get over there? It's all attached, right? Got the wire still going over here. It's this door right here. Like, the switch is right next to me. I gotta break this. Do you think this works? All right, now we leave. haunting soundtrack. Wait. I think it should be good now, right? Signal man. Please tell me that. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a picture of this. Arsenal code, okay. What is that? So, hold on, let me take a picture of my phone in case my game just detonates. Alright, arsenal code. So, what are we... I'm trying to think of, like, what are we actually using that for exactly? Like, what is the... the purpose? I hope that you can hear me. I hope that you can forgive me. The arsenal code is... zero. All right, we're out of here. The arsenal is locked. You need this code. Zero. 
get back and turn the generator off just for a second. If we can. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. We got the arsenal code, but... Let me go back and turn the generator off, save it. Put some stuff in the inventory if I need to, refill the fuel. Let's save it really quick. Okay. kind of cruising through this right now. It's actually pretty good on gas still. Nice. Okay, top this off. You know what? I may just leave it running here in a minute. That's a lot longer than I expected. Um, okay, I'm starting to think that I don't really need a lot of this stuff. Like, I have a lot of hills. The gas grenades don't quite seem as useful. I have a lot of, like, utilities, too. Um, too many hills. Maybe I just need to, like, run the generator. Then all this kind of goes away, because I'll be using those, essentially. How about we do this? Um. Let me heal up. I say, I don't think I'm hurt until I look at the fingers when you do, like, a little tab or whatever. Switch those around. I feel like flares would be really useful, like, against the rats. But, I don't think I'm gonna need it right now, you know? Alright. Arsenal code. You know what? I'm tempted just to leave the generator running. How about this? While I do, like, trial and error on where I'm supposed to go, I just do this. Gonna sync anything together with the watch. We're just gonna run. Oh, we got some light, you know. All right, arsenal. <sighs> to the tunnels. It's almost like you can go back there, but you can't wait. Oh, it's lit up. It's kind of glowing like you can pick it up. It's explosives. Explosives storage. Oh, it's right here. I didn't even see this on the pad a minute ago. Okay. 0885. I'll walk right past this. That's funny. So can we not get this dynamite? Ooh. More fuel, I'll take it. We must have to go all the way around the side. Maze our way through it. We got some rats. Okay. This is where the flare would actually come into play. I should have grabbed some. I had I known I was going to do this. Um... Pour on empty bottles or on the ground. I'll just go ahead and save a little space and do that. Because I'm probably going to get eaten right here. Look on this side and look and see if I can find... Well, more fuel. Ooh. I might just throw this. You know? It would save me a little bit. A dog tag. Oh. World? I, I'm so confused. What just happened? I pulled out a grenade and I just died instantly. All right. Um, I actually died when I was running around. I'm not sure what I've all I've shown, but here's what I wound up doing. So I know we're going down there to use the code. I actually found where you put the code in at. All right, let's put up. How about we get we get some flares out? We get flare. Put this up. I need to put that up as well, but. We're going to let the fuel run. It's all good. Yeah, I ran down here, and I didn't know where the code was on the door. And I was like, I looked, and I saw it on the right. And I couldn't believe I had, like, missed it. Game really freezes sometimes. 
The exit's right here. Go up over here and it's to the right. And the code is, let's see, 0885. Very nice. Got a few traps. We're trying to get to this dynamite right there that's like glowing, I'm pretty sure. It's a lot of noise. Oh, you could almost... Huh. Let me just hide for a second. I wonder if the monster's on my side. Or like over there. Heartbeat's getting closer. It's like weird, I don't see... All right, let's try to see where we need to go. We got, okay. I think what I have to do here. I wonder if it is, it might be safe here. I don't know. Every time I do like the little charge up, I hear him growl. Alright, I'm hoping we're good. shots. Okay, so...
like they expect you to fight this thing. All right, so we got that. Um, let me just reload because now that I know it's three, three shots essentially. Only got one more bullet. That's not good. The shotgun I had more for though, right? It's such an old school like I don't know, but the. The gun plan, everything's not smooth like Call of Duty or anything, which, you know, you kind of expect, so. We gotta get back now, which might be a problem. It's about I can't just walk out this door, you know? So, hold on, what do we just pick up exactly? The dynamite, let's see. I'm trying to see, like, where, we, where we're gonna use this at, because I don't quite... Um. I'm just not sure where we put this at. Alright. I'm just gonna try to get out of here first. Because I don't quite know what else to do. Hold on, let me see if there's like an alternate way out of here. Cause... No. Like there's no secondary door we can use. There has to be, right? I mean there probably isn't, but... Wait. Nothing. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this creature throughout this area, I feel like. Now, what I could do is shoot it a few more times. Don't see it. Oh, I see it. I think, honestly, we just try to use brute force with a shotgun. And just do it that way. You know? I'm hoping that we're good. For just a second at least. I just wanna get out of this. Head back and save it really quick. Cause that little maze area was not it. That's our first time doing damage, though. Alright. Save it and figure out where I'm putting this, uh...
first stalker is what we're doing. We're gonna drop... Well, let's just do this. The Jimmer is actually still chugging along, I guess. I'm gonna fill this back up again to save some more inventory space. Uh, let's see. Stopwatch won't need that. I don't think I'm gonna use all these, by the way. Maybe two more? Yeah. Alright, freed up a little bit of space. I think we're good on everything else. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking, right? I mean, we have the exit. I don't know if that's what you do, but... I'm gonna turn the generator back on just so I can, like, get a little trial run going. If that's what you're supposed to do, that is. We got dynamite. Yeah, exit this way. I mean... This is all kind of attached back here early on. I don't see anything. Let me try equipping it. Does it do anything? Oh, you put it in here. Now, does this just work? Put the detonator handle in there. All right, here goes. I'm not sure what that did. Wait, progress has been saved. Okay, that's the first time I've seen an auto save. Oh dear. Oh no. I don't know where we are. I got no more ammo. I don't have any shots to have in anything either. I don't feel like we're going back up. This feels risky. What is this? What in the world is all this? Oh my goodness. Tell me why this reminds me of, uh, House of Ashes a little bit. Like, the very end of that game. Wait, can you walk across this? Wait, what? No way! I gotta fight this thing up here? Wait. We must be trying to get up to that little spot right there. I think I have enough ammo for this.
don't know where I'm going. Okay, so I think what happened is the second opportunity here. Can I outrun it? I thought I was dead. Here's what I'm wondering. Can you come across here. Oh no. Pretty good spot here. Imagine if I could lure the uh, enemy right here. Stand right here for a second. All right, may or may not work. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make a little. Oh, we destroy all the boxes. Oh, it's a barrel right there. Well, if I could get a redo, that's what I would do. Which I probably can get one. And it's fine with me. Now that I know that barrel's there, I'm going to run up there and just try to do that. You know what I just realized? What if we could use... Alright, progress has been saved. But I want to run back in here and grab... Since this kind of feels like a final encounter type thing, I want to get... Like everything I possibly can. We got flares. Um, can light this. I mean, well, I don't know if that's really gonna work. Let's just bring out all the uh, the weaponry type stuff. I don't. I don't think flares are gonna do anything. I really don't. Okay, here we go. Hey, it's pretty cool though. I wasn't expecting, like, some big finale with, uh, the actual creature. Alright, time to run it back. Here we go. I was just wondering, like, could I potentially destroy... See how this breaks? Oh, that, what if I do, hold on. Shotgun this? Does, do you think one blast works? I don't know. Like I'm asking like I'm in a live chat. Yeah, that got broken as well. Problem is if I shoot this. I might be stuck here if I do this. Let's just try it. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Come on, dude. What you got for me? Hello? Oh, I actually made it. No way. I want to try that again. Okay. This isn't gonna do anything, but I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, um... Hmm. We got... It seems like there's two ways to go about this. We can either... Fight the uh, actual monster head on. Which doesn't seem... Like, I don't have enough ammo for it, really. I used a lot in that last section, which kind of shot myself in the foot with... I guess trying to just get everything resolved, but... I really didn't want to, like, mess up that... Because we wouldn't get the dynamite, and I thought... That's not like we could die and, like, put the code in later on, you know? It's not like one of those, so... With this... I don't know. What, what kind of element of this game I like a lot that I wanted to mention is the roguelike aspect of it. Where it kind of... Wait. Wait, so you can kind of section off the enemy. Make him go a certain route. Why is it so dark in here all of a sudden? And, and quiet. What's going on? Maybe need to, like, walk forward some more. Uh, here we go. Hmm. We're not breaking this one. We could break this. Here's the thing, does the actual creature... I'm guessing the creature does see me. has to be the way, right? Last time it jumped towards me, though, which is absolutely insane. That ain't good. Can I make this? Oh my god, barely. I think I'm stuck here. I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the best way I could do this. And it just doesn't seem to be like, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. I do. I mean, once I jumped, I was like, I don't have enough... <laughs> I have my Air Jordans on. I was, like, running for it. Wait, what? What happened there? I died, right? Watch your st- Okay, I was like, say what, Nora? I feel like if I have enough time to distract the actual enemy... Hmm. I could potentially just... Move some boxes and just run out of the area. It would be kind of cool to see if you can defeat this enemy, though. That I don't know if you can do. There's been a few times where I got rid of grenades stuff. I bet you there's, like, stuff in here I haven't even seen. No? Alright, same as last time. The problem with even, like, shooting one of these is it doesn't seem to matter as much. Is it really because I just have to shoot, like, the other side that it's on? I think that's what I gotta do. Oh, 
Oh, he's over there. I have a rhythm now. Which is gonna take so long to hill and change guns and all that. Hold on, let me try something really quick. Does it even do anything? Nothing. <sighs> Not safe, I don't think. Go, go, go. I didn't realize that was the end of the game. I had a feeling, I, when I heard it was like four to six hours, and I, I had about maybe, well after editing, I don't know how long this series is gonna be, because I haven't actually edited parts two through whatever we're on right now. But that was, man, short and sweet to the point. Nice horror game, nice puzzle design. Wasn't overly complex. You know, I had a few moments where I was pretty lost in the beginning. I even, I even kind of doubted myself in that first video. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I know, like, we're trying to get out of this bunker, but the ultimate goal is to get the dynamite and blow up the thing, but everything else leading to that, you had to get, like... So, it's like the way the game went. I mean, like, you start off, you know, you're outside in the war and all that, but... Yeah, you get, like... You got the intro sequences, and you got... We had, like, the admin office, first time, like, lighting the lamp and everything. The sub-levels... We had to get the wrench, then we had to get the uh, the bolt cutters, I think it was. Then we got the detonator, we had that boss fight. Then we basically went, you know, we had, like the water area with the, the detonator handle and all that. We had the extra save point there, and then we had all the arsenal stuff. Well, we got like the dynamite, had to turn on the power, listen like the radio for communications. Then we blew up the thing, and that was, I mean, that's a pretty short game on paper. And I would imagine the speed run of this game takes no time at all. Especially, let's say you know the codes and stuff. You know, like, uh, that's one thing I liked about the game. The roguelike aspect of it was you kind of could run for it. I'm going to get the dog tag for the enemy kills me. And then you take a screenshot, you know? But, yeah, that was awesome. I, I sat down today thinking I was going to be playing this for several hours. And I played for hour and seven minutes. And we finished it. So, um, much love to all of you. Kind of nice to finish an amnesia game. The last one I didn't complete, but I heard it was a lot longer. I don't know what they're going to do after this, but this is a pretty cool setup. I feel like the game could use... 
I'm trying to think. Because, it, you know, like in Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, like, for instance, when you're kind of running around and he's being, like, in pursuit of you the entire time. You could probably take, like, that type of sequence and lower it down a little bit. I could never really tell where the actual monster was. The rats was, like, added stress because they could just, like, come up to you even if you were bleeding at all. If you were crouched hiding somewhere, they can basically follow your blood trail and you couldn't do much about it. The generator thing was pretty cool. The light that takes some getting used to, the flashlight ran out a lot. Like, I was kind of preferring the original. Like, in the Dark Descent, you had the oil. So I had a feeling like the light thing was going to be like a temporary fix, but the generator really helped out with that. Although I didn't really use it much until the end, but uh, overall the game was good. I mean, I, I enjoyed it a lot. When I first played it, I did not expect to beat it. I was told to not go past the water part until the game releases. So I'm going to edit the rest of the game. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does well. First part did pretty well. I mean, it's a horror game. It's the middle of June as I'm... Officially recording this. We're not the middle, just like the beginning of June right now. And I, my goal was to kind of beat this before getting into anything else extravagant. Or I guess horror related. Is there anything after the credits? I'm just curious. Hold the skip. Let me just take a look. It was like an after scenes type thing. Oh, shows total play time. Time saved, number of deaths. This is actually pretty cool. It shows you everything. Time spotted, so it's called the stalker. Okay. Stalker bullet hit count eight. Most of that was towards the end, too. Number of deaths. Rats killed one. Bullets fired 14. Shotgun shells fired. Grenades thrown. Health items used. Uh, let's see. Generator refills, blackouts, which is like the whole game for me. Longest time between saves. Now, I think that one section... When I went and fought the guy that was talking, the one that had the shotgun, I think that's the one that, that was that 27 minute period. Maybe not after editing, but I was definitely hiding for a while. And then getting back to the save point was like stressful because I had to move boxes and everything. Pretty bare bones game. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure how many people worked on it. I mean, we saw the credits. I'm, sh I'm sure it was like hundreds, maybe Maybe not thousands. That would be a lot. That's like a Ubisoft type thing. So I've been in a few of their buildings and they have a ton of staff. You know. But um, stuff like this is nice to kind of see Frictional Games still creating horror games after all this time. Now, I don't know how profitable these games can be. Because uh, let's see all the ones they actually made. I'm going to go down the list really quick. I'm trying to see if they made anything else other than just horror stuff, right? Uh, let's see. Frictional Games... Amnesia the Dark Descent 2010, Soma 2015. I never played that. Amnesia Rebirth 2020. Oh, Penumbra. That's what the that's the original. Penumbra Black Plague, Overture. A Machine for Pigs Amnesia. I never played that one either. I think that came out around some like other games that I was playing. So the most So yeah, the last two things they made were Amnesia Rebirth and this one. I wonder what's next for them. Whatever it is, I'll definitely be checking it out. It's just crazy that I finished this game this quickly. Wasn't expecting. I mean, the game's priced accordingly. I feel like it's not like sixty dollars, whatever. But um, I think they kind of are aware that people can probably speed run this because if you know all the codes initially, you can essentially get. Okay, let's say you have all the codes, and I heard the game is randomized. So, like, where I found the communications key on that bed is not always going to be on that bed. It's going to be another one. So I stumbled upon it. I couldn't use a guide because the game's not even out yet. Because I can't watch other people play it. So I was kind of like in the dark, didn't know what to do. Uh, stumbling upon stuff half the time. But that was cool. I really liked it a lot. Kind of made me think more like than I was thinking I was going to have to think. Because I just want to play like a horror game. And the very beginning had me thinking like, oh, this is about to be more action than puzzle. And then we got down there and it was kind of, that's just how it is. Let's see. Yeah, right there. No playthrough of the bunker is the same as any other. Are all random. Oh, the codes are random too. Interesting. Play again, experience a horror, a new custom stories. Wait, what is this? Sample. Oh, so you basically make it right here. That's so cool that they do that. 
Anyways, had a lot of fun with this series. Thank you all for the like support. Kind of a shorter game that I've covered this year. I mean, we've played a lot of stuff this year. But to have completed a scary game like this, this isn't... So when I talk about scary games, this is like true horror to me. Resident Evil 4 Remake's not scary. Dead on 2 is not scary. Those are horror games, kind of, but they're not something you'd be like, oh my god, I'm, I'm actually terrified to play it. It's actually like a scary game. Like, most people I know that, uh, you know, they'd prefer to watch somebody play something like this than actually play it. Uh, for me, I just enjoy the experience because with this YouTube channel, for instance, I would have never played and experienced a lot of games the way I had, you know? So to have kind of an audience that appreciates this stuff means a lot to me. Um... About to go spend time with my daughter. I think they're leaving tomorrow. Be gone for a few days. And I'll just be chilling out. I'm going to edit the rest of this series. Hopefully, uh, I'll edit up to where I can post. By the time you see this video, it's not going to matter. But here's like my strategy for parts two through whatever this is. Not sure how long I'll do each video either. I'm like still deciding. I put up the first hour to see how it do. And then I was like, by then I'd already recorded like an extra two hours. And I didn't realize this was close to the end, so it kind of worked out. But uh, anyways, love you all, best audience ever. I think this will be one of the few games I look back this year. And I'm, ex I'm actually glad I went all the way with it because a four-hour game is different from like a, a 20-hour game. You know, it doesn't take near the time. Um, and I had a lot of moments where I was lost. So I'm surprised. I kind of wonder like what the average tiny complete is going to be. They said four to six. I could see six being... If you want to collect everything, maybe like room to room, I want to get everything. But I felt like at the end of the game, I didn't need much. Because I thought we were going to have to actually kill that boss at the end. I started getting kind of nervous. Like, we have to knock it through the, uh, I guess, like the wooden planks thing, whatever that was like a cross bridge. But I kept shooting the wrong side. But it didn't matter. I was able to escape. Anyways, love you all. Best science ever. I'm kind of rambling. Um... Not sure what the next horror game is going to be. There's like the Layers of Fear remake. May check it out, may not. I don't really know. That's like middle of June, I think. So anyways, love you all. Take it easy.